LEX 18 News Now. Good evening and thanks for watching LEX 18 News Now. I'm Kevin Christopher. A Clark County man charged with killing two women in a crash and threatening an official on the courthouse steps pleaded not guilty in his return to court today. James Pelfrey was indicted for manslaughter for a two 2015 crash, then reportedly threatened to shoot a court official on the courthouse steps last November. After his not guilty plea, he got a court date for late next month on both charges. Ten people were hurt when two Greyhound buses and a semi truck collided in northern Kentucky this morning. It happened around 5.30 on I-71 in Boone County. The buses pulled over together to transfer passengers from a broken down bus to a new one. Before police could arrive to help, a semi sideswiped both buses. Ten passengers had to be treated at a hospital. As traffic piled up from that crash, a truck hauling glass swerved into a cable barrier and hit a van, leaving a pickup truck load of broken glass all over the road. And five people were hurt when a Louisville City bus hit a building. It happened at the corner of 16th and Bank Streets around 845 this morning. The bus damaged three vehicles in the KFI seating building. The extent of the injuries isn't clear, but officials say none of the injuries is critical. Be sure to join us on air for LAX 18 News at 11. We'll get you the latest as the bitter cold continues to cause problems with freezing pipes all across Kentucky. LAX 18 Storm Tracker forecast is coming up after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Frozen pipe issue likely to get worse before it gets better. We've got another surge of cold coming. Now, the wind chill advisory that's out for tonight, which is roughly I-64 in north through central Kentucky, Pipes don't have to worry about that. That's not a, an issue with that. Wind chill is actually computed off of bare skin temperature. So pipes don't have a bare skin temperature. It would be a different reading. Anyway, that wind chill advisory. Wind chill advisories are for readings 10 below zero or colder on the wind chill. We're going to be right on the cusp of that. Probably a situation that was borderline for issuing the advisory. They issued it anyway. Uh, as we look to tomorrow morning, We'll be starting off low single digits, and maybe just below zero in a couple of places out there. We're talking the wind chills as we go through the night tonight by the latter part of the evening. Those should be hovering at and below zero. As we continue into the morning hours, you see again those wind chills dropping into the five to ten below zero range. So obviously it is bitterly cold and the snow that's around. How about this? 45 out of the 48, lower 48 have snow at least someplace this morning. That was as of eight o'clock. Uh, so you can see all the way down to Florida. Texas had a little tiny bit, so did Oklahoma. Mississippi, Alabama, Arizona, the three states that did not. Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina did. Interesting. When you see that snow field out into the coastal plain, that is a place that does not normally occur. This is a storm that does not normally occur. When you see the convection, the thunderstorms blossoming up around that center, which actually took on something of an eye-like feature. These big snows continue. The blizzard warnings are now up in Maine. The storm itself is headed up into Canada. Watch the end of it as we watch the Mid-Atlantic get the snow pulled out of there. We're also watching the heavy snow continue across New England, although now really it's confined more or less to Maine as this massive storm, and it is big, heads off these. Now, it's big. It is a type of storm that is, I wouldn't say common, but it's not uncommon either. The intensity certainly was. The Arctic high is coming in for us, and with it comes more Arctic cold, but that's the last of the sequence. Partly cloudy, brutally cold. Low single digits, wind chills 0 to 10 below. Partly to mostly sunny, a bitterly cold day tomorrow. Wind chills hanging around 0, the high around 17. An end is in sight to this weather. Talk about that at 10. Great selection, dependable service, and a competitive price. We understand, and that's what we bring you every single day. We know we have to work hard to earn your business, so we will. P-Rats, because bigger isn't better. Better is better.